Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and in today's video we're taking a look at the True Fade Nero, can be found under the Benny's Custom Auto Shop, and uh, retailing for a price of $1,440,000, and I'm sure you'll agree it looks more serious than a tornado warning at a factory for nuclear bombs. Okay, well, this is the fully upgraded version, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, take it out for a test, and in terms of acceleration, it's sets off faster than a Puritan pilgrim avoiding persecution. It really is that quick, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, handling, as you can see, coming down the hills here, ladies and gentlemen, it really is very good. It's very tight, you know. I mean, it's uh, it's handling's tighter than a baby duck's asshole when it's sat in the snow. Okay, uh, top speed, ladies and gentlemen, coming down these hills, as you can see, it really is very fast, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's it sort of moves faster than a pedophilic rumor about the royal family. Okay, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to set off a as soon as Mr. Raccoon gets in front of us, and we're gonna uh, take a look at the, uh, the stability and acceleration one more time. Okay, acceleration pretty darn good as you can see, uh, and the stability is uh, not too bad either. There we go. So it's not absolutely perfect, but yes, yeah, not too bad, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. Okay, so what can Bond say about the True Fade Nero? I mean, it's good across the board, ladies and gentlemen. It really is an absolutely fantastic vehicle. Uh, acceleration very good, certainly appreciable, ladies and gentlemen. Top end speed really is very very good indeed and the handling ladies and gentlemen i mean it's also uh, absolutely fantastic you know uh, so like i say uh, great across the board you know uh, stability is uh, not even a bugbear with this particular uh, vehicle okay well there we are ladies and gentlemen that is the initial standard lap we're going to take the vehicle back into the maze bank offices now we're going to take and send it on to the custom auto shop don't you know and we're going to go and uh, have a look at the different modifications that can be affected to this vehicle now as always ladies and gentlemen we will be going through this section of the video at double speed just in order to hurry things along somewhat but still provide you the viewer with a quick opportunity to have a look at the different modifications that can be affected to the vehicle as I say uh, now normally ladies and gentlemen we do go ahead and cut out some of the more performance related modifications of course there's no need to apply them on this particular video and uh, we won't be in here for any great deal of time because uh, what scant few modifications there are that can be uh, uh, added to the vehicle in terms of changing its looks ladies and gentlemen really are uh, very few you know as I say uh, sort of scan view you have got the two-tone color there ladies and gentlemen which really is rather nice uh, it could also be upgraded i should point out to uh, the custom uh, for about uh, six hundred thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen you got the uh, option on the hood there as well okay well we've done the upgrades a long long time ago ladies and gentlemen so we're going to send uh, the vehicle back down on the street we're going to perform another standard lap uh, and then we're going to go in and perform the other test that we like to do you know okay so here we are ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, the true fade nero fully upgraded across the board and we're going to uh, take on a standard test lap okay well here we are ladies and gentlemen i mean uh, in terms of acceleration you know it's good so uh, it's it's gonna set you off faster than being rebuked by a convicted fraudster ladies and gentlemen it's gonna set you off that fast you know uh in terms of uh, top end speed as you can see it's moving i mean it's going very fast out there ladies and gentlemen i mean it's faster than a french military retreat you know it's just that quick and the handling, as you can see, getting around there, it is sharp, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's sharper than a rusty can in a kid's outdoor play area. It's just that, uh, that sharp, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, back in, slippy, slidey, but not too bad there. Okay, so, uh, like I said, it's across the board. It really is, really is very fine, ladies and gentlemen. A very fine vehicle. Okay, uh, well, there we go. That's pretty much the standard lap complete. And we're going to take it on up to the top speed test track and then up to Sandy Shores and see how it stacks up against some other vehicles. Okay, but the first port of call, as I I say is the uh, top speed test track ladies and gentlemen i'm sure you'll agree i mean this thing looks more menacing than a, a maniacal mustachioed mercenary with a meat cleaver doesn't it now uh, 53 54 seconds is what we consider competitive to get down here ladies and gentlemen and that's 53 seconds so yes it is a competitive vehicle it's very fast ladies and gentlemen okay so we brought them right up to sandy shores and we're now going to see how uh, the true fade stacks up against some other vehicles now of course uh, just out of general curiosity ladies and gentlemen uh, the very first vehicle we decided to bring out is the true fade Nero, no, it's not the true fate Ada, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Nero's little sister, uh, retailing at one million dollars on the nose. So it's uh, significantly cheaper, ladies and gentlemen, sort of four hundred thousand dollars cheaper. Uh, but that it really is quite a way behind. I'm sure you'll, you'll agree. Uh, so yes, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. The true fate Nero takes down uh, the true fate Ada, and perhaps one shouldn't be surprised about that. 
Okay, well, the very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, the True Fade Nero Custom, don't you know? Of course, as you should be aware, the Nero costs $1,440,000, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the upgrade is around about $600,000, something like that. I can't be certain about mine on discount, don't you know? Could do the math, simply can't be bothered. Okay, well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, rather surprisingly, uh, the Nero has got in front of the Nero Custom there. And so for your extra money, you think, what the hell am I buying? Uh, and it turns out Mr. Raccoon taps me on the back end there and sniggers as he's coming past it. Uh, you are, in fact, buying more top-end speed, so there we go. Uh, no surprises there, ladies and gentlemen, but this perhaps is a surprise if you're not aware. This is the True Fade Thrax, ladies and gentlemen. This particular vehicle is retailing at over $2 million, $2,325,000. It is the big sister in terms of price and uh, also, well, you know, it's released more recently than uh, uh, both the Adder and the True Fade and the True Fade Custom, uh, the True Fade Nero and the True Fade Custom, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what you're buying for your money. So it's uh, nearly a million dollars more, ladies and gentlemen, and you're going to be coming in second. It just, it's got good acceleration, but no top-end speed, not enough to match the Nero, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, the very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an overflow, don't you know? Brought this vehicle out by mistake. It was intending to bring out the Entity XXR, but I uh, brought out the XS, uh, XXF by mistake. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the XSS, uh, XF, uh, right, I'll try that again. We're going to have a look at the Entity XXF. XF stacks up against the uh, True Fade Nero, ladies and gentlemen. The simple truth is for $795,000. Not well is the answer. Okay, well, there we go. Not a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we're going to bring out the car we intended to bring out. And this is another Overflood, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Overflood Entity XXR. I managed to get the right car this time. And the Overflood Entity XXR retails at a price of, wait for it, $2,305,000, ladies and gentlemen. So it's nearly a uh, nearly million dollars more. So uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a seriously priced car, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's sat by behind us now it is fighting for it it has got top end speed there but the handling ladies and gentlemen the Nero appears to be uh, better and it's going to put around the corner first there and uh, although it did get the top of the track it comes in second okay so there we go ladies and gentlemen I think we're getting a feel for the true fade Nero it can take down some very very serious cars ladies and gentlemen and speaking of very very serious cars this is the Garotti Vision ladies and gentlemen retailing for and wait for it over two million dollars once again two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's a very expensive Garotti it's a very fine Gordon, not one of my personal favorite just does have to be pointed out uh, but as you can see there ladies and gentlemen we could get around the corner there and we did sort of uh, yeah, sort of get down a lot of the back but of course the vision is a very fine car and we're fighting for him pretty much neck and neck across the line there maybe the grotty snuck it but either way ladies and gentlemen i'm sure you'll agree that was very very close okay well the next vehicle we're going to bring on out is going to be the progen ladies and gentlemen this is the progen uh, t20 another vehicle where it's retailing for upwards of two million dollars two million two hundred thousand dollars for this uh, particular vehicle it's a very fine car ladies and gentlemen uh, we didn't rate it particularly I mean we rate it very very highly we found that it didn't uh, particularly wow us around the track you know but my god around the streets is a damn good car to drive and as you can see ladies and gentlemen the Nero was way behind but it caught it at the end with the uh, top end speed there so yeah it's really rather interesting another two million car fighting for it right to the wire okay so what if you bring the, the price tag right down for those of you who do not know for the hose and hoe for the uninitiated as they say. This is what we like to refer to as a serious contender. It is the Benefactor Serrano retailing for $110,000 and we like to pull out this car ladies and gentlemen just to prove the point that very low end cars can sometimes do very well against some very expensive cars. On this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, that is not the case. Uh, the Serrano can do nothing to stand up to the true fade Nero because it's such an absolutely fantastic car. Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are wrapping things up. This is what we like to refer to as Big Daddy Z. This is the Pegasi Zentorno retailing for $725,000. If you do not own this vehicle, I suggest you go and buy one immediately. It is absolutely fantastic. If I haven't already stated, all of the other vehicles are being driven by Mr. Raccoon, I should say. Uh, his name is the Bromby. He has a channel of his own. It is called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you should go and find him one do that. He's got some rather good videos on there. Both myself and Mr. Raccoon are big fans of the Pegasi Zentorno, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a crushing defeat to see it coming in second to the True Fade Nero. But it does tell us, ladies and gentlemen, how good the True Fade Nero is. And of course, we're going to find out now with the final masquerade. This is the Garotti Tally RSX. Got no idea how much this car costs. You know, I keep forgetting. Good look, actually. You should have it written down now. 
Either way, ladies and gentlemen, we uphold on the uh, this, this game to be with you know, the finest car on GT Online in terms of uh, performance uh, for the money, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, it's not going to be able to do it. The RS6 retailing for either two and a half million or three and a half million, effectively, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Yes, I, I can't stand up to it, ladies and gentlemen. The Nero's going to lose, and uh, perhaps. As I say, that shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, you may well be asking, well, what about the true fate uh, Nero custom? What if you slap uh, that extra $600,000 and turn uh, the true fate Nero into a $2 million uh, uh, supercar, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, the answer is not much different, to be quite frank with you. I'm uh, sorry to report there. Perhaps we're a little closer, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps there's a little less difference as we get to the top end corner there. Uh, but yes, it's uh, not going to be able to take it down. So what can we say about the uh, true fade Nero, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, it looks more brutish than a bear knuckle boxer from Belfast now, doesn't it? Uh, in terms of acceleration, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to launch you faster than a failed child safety seat, you know? Uh, in terms of top-end speed, I mean, uh, much like the famous rap singer R. Kelly, it's going to piss all over everything it can. And in terms of handling, ladies and gentlemen, it's more responsive than a horny ex-girlfriend with an Instagram obsession. Uh, should you purchase the vehicle? The simple truth is Mr. Akun and myself are both agreed on this. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic. It's on sale this week. Get it while you can. Sodding hell, bloody raccoon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.